Welcome to Lovely News Network, and I have another story, and it's coming from Trailer Trash, Tennessee, okay? So what's going down in Trailer Trash, Tennessee, you ask? What's going down is this. We have a 31-year-old man. His name is Howard Matthew Webb. And so basically, him and a female companion, and they're working for a dinner delivery service, kind of like a Grubhub, a DoorDash, you know, something like that. So basically, they got the order, and so they were getting ready to deliver it to the customer. They had to drive 30 minutes to the customer's house. And they looked at the order and the tip only showed 89 cents as the tip, okay? So the man got so mad that he pulled out his balls and the woman recorded him dipping his damn balls in the salsa, okay? It's like, you can't make this damn shit up. Y'all go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So what you get when you get an 89 cents tip for an almost 30 minute drive? <laughs> really sir really and then you can hear him talking about oh it feels so good what a disgusting man for all we know this man could have all types of herpes on his balls you know what i'm saying you got the nerve to dip your damn balls in somebody's salsa because you're mad about the tip if you don't like your job, quit, okay? That's the point of a tip. People can tip you well, they cannot tip you at all, okay? That is their damn choice. And the thing that I find funny is that this fucking hyena, this female's laughing in the background like this shit is funny. Why was she not charged? Because if you guys do not know, tampering with food is a felony offense, okay? You cannot tamper with people's food. And then the fact that they recorded this and posted it on social media, he's not looking at felony charges. And I feel like this, she should also be charged with something as well because let's keep it real. If both these idiots went and he started doing a drive-by, even if she had no idea that he's about to pull out a gun and start shooting folks, she would be arrested as an accomplice to a drive-by and she'd be charged with the same exact charges. So if he's being charged with a felony for dipping his balls in some damn salsa, why is she not being charged for sitting there watching it, laughing, recording, and posting on social media? To me, she's just as guilty as he is, okay? You know, while you're sitting there tampering people's food, sir, you better hope they don't tamper with your damn asshole when you're sentenced and doing damn prison time, okay? And this just shows you how dirty this man is. After he dipped his damn balls in the damn salsa, he just put on his damn underwear. He didn't wipe his balls off for nothing. So he's literally sitting there with salsa balls. You know his damn balls was probably itching and burning because I'm sure there was damn jalapenos in the salsa. So this is how nasty this man is, okay? He's just dirty. And this is why people need to really be careful using all these delivery places to deliver your food, like Grubhub and, and you know, DoorDash and stuff like that. You never know what these drivers are doing to your food. You know, sometimes you just need to go out and go freak in a restaurant and go be around other people, get out your mom's basement and go place your own orders, drive to the damn restaurant, drive to the fast food spot, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to having everything conveniently delivered to you. This is the second story we've done on this channel. If you guys don't remember, a few months ago I did a story about a man in Florida who had ordered from DoorDash and when he got his food there was some shitty ass draws in his damn food. He prepares to sit down and take his food out the bag. And as he's reaching into the bag to take his food out, all of a sudden he sees a big ass pair of dirty ass, shitty ass damn drawers sitting on top of his damn food, okay? You're gonna get delivered somebody's dirty underwear. The answer to that question, of course, is no one. But unfortunately for Leo, that's exactly what happened on Sunday night when he opened up his Uber Eats delivery order. Disgusting, unhealthful, it's potentially deadly. Leo, who asked us not to use his last name, is in town for Art Basel. Just before 10 p.m., he decided to order some dinner from a nearby Japanese restaurant, and when it arrived a little while later, he walked outside of his hotel to pick it up from the Uber Eats driver. I grabbed the food, and right when I got the food, she struck off running, and I was like, that was kind of odd. Back up in his hotel room, he opened the plastic bag. His food was there, but sitting right there next to it was a pair of thigh-length underwear, clearly stained with what looks like feces. Disgusted, he called Uber, the restaurant, and the police department. Uber sent us this statement that says, quote, What's been reported is very concerning. We are reviewing this order and reaching out to all parties involved to help understand what may have occurred. The courier has been removed from the app pending investigation. 
It's like, what the hell? He ordered some Chinese food and got some chicken fried shit, okay? This entire situation is just damn disgusting. This man definitely needs to be locked up, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning this man dipping his damn balls in some salsa because he was upset about an 89 cent tip. And do agree with me that this girl should also be charged with something because she was just as guilty. She was egging it on. She was recording it. So he should not be the only one charged, okay? I definitely feel like she should get some charges as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.